start the show. I rise to give honor to the Holy Father and the King of Israel to say my name is Kayla Boskett. I am from the Manhattan Temple. My co-pastors are Elder Dr. Joseph Lathan and Bride Mother Linda Austin. I would like to say thank you to everybody for joining our very first Virtual Israel Youth Talent Show. I would like to thank everyone who's watching via Zoom, who's watching on Facebook Live, and thank you to everybody who has donated to our fund. I would like to say that all donations are going to go towards the Supreme Education Scholarship Fund. We have some dynamic performers that are going to go before you today. They're representing Israel all over. But before we get into the show, I would like to call on Elder Dr. Joseph Why Lee, the representing the Manhattan Temple, to come and anoint our beautiful talent show. Please receive him. I'm going to make sure I can be seen. This is my view. Amen. Amen. Truly, I rise to give honor to the Holy Father, the King of all Israel. We're grateful to be here. I'm grateful to be a part of this show and to be, be able to have this opportunity to bless this day, the talents that have come forth, Lord God of Israel. We thank you with all our heart, our souls, and our mind, our strength, that you have given us this day to celebrate you through our youth in song and many talents that they bring forth today. Lord God of this, we ask that you anoint them with your power, anoint them with your capabilities, because through you, all things are possible. Father, we ask that you help calm their spirit. Let them know that their best is all that they are required to do. Let them know that this is not a competition of who's better than who's better than who's another. Father, let them know that this is done in the glory of your name. And we are doing this for the cause of raising money that will benefit our children so that they may pursue higher education that they will bring back to benefit the spiritual Israel church and its army. Oh, Father, we thank you today. We thankful for all those that put their hand to make such a great opportunity and a platform that will allow our children to shine. We're thankful for those that have tirelessly waited and patiently put in the work that we may be able to see your glory through our children. We bless you. We ask these blessings through our King, Bishop Bobby Davis, and through the Spirit, the Almighty God of Israel, let the church say, Amen. 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 Thank you, Elder Dr. Joseph Lathan, for blessing us and anointing our beautiful talent show. Now, I will call on Daughter Diamond Statham from the Canilla, Georgia Temple to come and do the Sunday School Pledge. Okay. Daughter Diamond, if you can unmute yourself. Can you unmute yourself? Yes. Hello. Hello. Okay. Yeah, we hear you. I rise to give honor to all for give honor to I rise to give honor to all for give honor to My name is Darda Diamond. My pastor is Bishop Annie Collins. My assistant pastor is Bad Mother Benson. I'm going to do the pledge. I pledge my hands. To work for the God of Israel, I place my mind and have clean thoughts. I pledge my lips to speak no evil. I pledge my heart for the love and the God of Israel. Lord God of Israel, within me, go before me. And go open the way. Lord God of Israel, tell me just what to say and do. Lord God of Israel, make out of me. Now I have me to be. Oh, will I be? A true Israel God. Amen. Amen. Thank you, Daughter Diamond, 
for anointing us with the Sunday School Pledge. Now, please allow me to introduce Elder Delphine, whom is one of the original founders of the Supreme Scholarship Committee. Please receive her. Hello, everyone. I want to uh, thank you, first of all, to the people who put this program together. And to say, today, this entire program is dedicated to Esther Calloway, Esther Calloway, Reverend Esther Calloway. Reverend Esther Calloway was um, a very important member of the scholarship, the Education and Scholarship Committee. As a matter of fact, those of us that worked with her on the committee, we always said that she was the heart of the committee. She served on the committee for over 30 years, and she was a very important part. And not only did we raise money for scholarships, we have mentoring programs, which she started at number one. And during the back to school service and on other occasions, if we would raise money via Esther, uh, Reverend Esther for free supplies. And she worked not only with the church children, but she served but also with the children at school. And any program that we had at church for children, uh, Reverend Esther was a part of it. She was the first recipient to receive the Adult uh, Encouragement Award. Back in that day, when we first started, we just called it an encouragement award for the adults when she went back to get her higher education. So we want to be thankful for all the hard work to uh, that El Reverend Casway did and to her families that are listening today, to her sons, her daughter-in-law, her grandchildren, her sister, and all the other families that are, are listening. We thank you for allowing Reverend Casway to be on our Callaway to be on our committee. And we thank you for all the wonderful work she did. And in her own words, I want to say, step by step, we will make this journey. And today is going to be a beautiful program. So everyone sit back, enjoy yourself, and be at peace. And I thank you. Thank you, Elder Delphine. Now, the moment that you all have been waiting for, please allow me to introduce our dynamic host to you today. She comes from the Compton Temple. Her name is Lyric Monet Page, and she is five years old. She has been professionally acting since she was two years old and 10 months old. She's asked her parents if she could be on TV repeatedly, and the God of Israel made it happen for her when she was picked up by the DC Talent Agency. Her first acting job was on FX sitcom. Her first acting job was on the FX sitcom ba basket. She has done several national ads and commercial campaigns for Chuck E. Cheese, Hidden Valley Ranch, and Facebook, as well as a movie. Her most recent appearance was on Mother's Day to the Disney Channel Sing Along 2. What she enjoys most about acting is that she gets to do things she has never done in her life and she can imagine being a reality star. She loves to dance, she loves to role play, she loves to dress up. Please welcome Lyric Monet Page, along with her father, Elder Kenneth Page. Please receive them. That's the girl and she's on fire. Hotter than a fantasy. Lonely like a highway. She's living in a world and it's on fire. Filled with catastrophe. But she knows she can fly away. Help me call out the different acts. 
Hi, everybody. Glad to be here today. I would just like, before we, before we get started, I'd like to thank the Holy Father, King of all Israel first, um, thanking the God of Israel for allowing me to be here to see another day. I'm thankful for all the youth and the work that they put in for this uh, magnificent show. I'm excited to get it started. Before we get started, though, being that the times that we are in and for our youth to really understand the seriousness of all that we're dealing with, I would like for us to just to take a moment of silence for those that have been senselessly murdered in the streets of America in this past, in this past month and for hundreds of years. Let's just take a moment of silence for those that we have lost. <sighs> all right. Thank you all for that moment of silence for those that we have lost senselessly. We are doing this to raise money for our uh, Spiritual Israel Church and this Army Youth Scholarship Fund. So please, um, our own, um, our, our hosts and the ones that are behind the scenes, they will currently or, or maybe occasionally put up the opportunity to show you where you can donate. You will be able to donate and just give freely as much as you can to let our children and our youth know they used to say that our children were the future, but I really believe they're more of the present right now. So let's pour into them and let them know that we love them. Our first act up for today will be Corey Hunter. I would like to ask uh, Tamia and Chrissy to get ready. They're on deck to be next. But for our first act, he's nine, nine years old, uh, attends Temple Number 1, where his pastor is Bishop Bobby Joe Davis. In the fall, he will be on, in the fifth grade. His hobbies are sports, math, and the drums. His future aspirations is to be a police officer. <laughs> We are soldiers, we're in the army, we never fight, although we never fight, we have no Tamia and Chrissy are from the Manhattan Temple. They are praise dancers. They are 11 and 13 years old. Their pastor is Elder Austin and co-pastor Elder Joseph. Let's give it up for 
Mia and Chrissy. Okay.
Great job, Camille and Chrissy. That oh. was beautiful. Let's give a round of applause for them. Oh. Next act, Aaron and Julia. Jeremiah. 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 Aaron and Jeremiah are 10 and 12. They're from the Ypsilanti Temple. Their pastor is Bishop Harvey Beavers Jr. In the grade in the fall, they'll be in the fifth and the eighth grade. Aaron wants to do sports, swimming. No, his hobbies are sports, swimming, and video games. Jeremiah loves playing Fortnite, sleeping, basketball, baseball, and football. Future aspirations for Aaron is to be a doctor and for Jeremiah to be a scientist. Everyone, Let's give a great Zoom applause for Aaron and Jeremiah. Hi. Me too. Hi. Hi. Whoa, Aaron, go. He can't see us. Yes, he can. Oh, Jeremiah. No, she's not. No, she's not. Rhonda, we got two devices here in the same area. I'm sorry, what is it? We got the two devices in the same area. That's why it's been a rebound. Oh, okay. You got to mute one. Yes, yes, sir. Yes, sir. Okay. Yes. Are we ready? Okay, now that sounds better. We are ready. Tap into the strength, you know, and feel the power and start to grow. Finish up those things that are hard and new and have to be strong. Prepare now for a new video. It must to say it must. All right, all right, all right, all right. All right. <laughs> Brother. Okay, go ahead. Now, go ahead. Eric Chapman. It may not be in measure or in physical strength or size. Instead, it is an inner strength that shows within your eyes. So much determination, so much want and drive. The spirit of enjoyment that shows you are alive. You might not always see it, but it's there now deep inside. It just might take some coaching to bring forth that strength and pride. Each of us can be powerful. We have to know to free our power to do what we must do. All right, all right. Yeah. Mm -hmm. That was a powerful, that was a powerful spoken word. Let's give them a round of applause. <laughs> Next are my cousins, Fantastic Four. Fantastic Four, Quentin, Kenny, Charlene, and Tamaris. They're 8, 10, 11, and 14. They're from the Italy Temple. Their pastor is Bishop Harvey Beavers. The 5th, 7th, and 10th grade. Their hobbies are math, school, 
reading, gaming, being social, and working out. Their future aspirations are to be in the NBA, the NFL, to work for Google, to be a singer, to be an actress, to play for the WNBA, to be a lawyer, president, politics, and judge. Next up, get prepared for Chloe and Carly. Let's give the Fantastic Four a big round of applause. To say that we go to the Ipsilani Temple. Pastor, and some, a few words in this song have been changed for the appropriate audience. Hang on. Tomorrow you got two. Life is in the same room. Here at your mics, Azar, if y'all not speaking. All right, now we can hear. Now let's go ahead and start over and let's do that again. We rise to give honor to the Holy Father, the King of all of Israel, to say that we are from the Ypsilanti Temple. I pass it, Jesus, how we do this, Junior. Our season passes, other call the Chapman, and we are at the Fantastic. And some words in the song have been changed for the appropriate audience. If you love me, won't you? Oh, 
And if you love me, won't you say something? And if you love me, won't you? Beautiful voices. Beautiful. Go. Go. Great job, great job, Fantastic Fort. Let's Four. give them a, a round of applause. Yay! <laughs> Next act is Chloe and Carly. Chloe and Carly, they're dancing. They're age three from the Ypsilanti Temple. Their pastor is Bishop Harvey Beavers. On deck, it's Kevin Yarbrough Jr. Let's give Chloe and Carly a big round of applause. Yeah. All right, give me one moment, Chloe. Chloe, we're gonna locate you right now. If you are available, unmute yourself. Please unmute yourself. All right. Rhonda, are you Rhonda, there? Rhonda, are you there? Here you go. Yes, one moment. We're coming. Get ready right here. Okay, there you go. Get ready. Come here. Come here, baby. Look. Come over here. Look, Wave bye. Wave bye, girls. Say bye. Right here. Bye. Good job. Good job. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you. That's one of my favorite songs. I love Baby Shark. Sing, sing, sing. Baby Shark, do 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 do. Baby Shark, do 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 do. Baby Shark, do 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 do. Baby Shark. Kevin Yarbrough. Kevin Jargo is Yarbrough. next. Yarbrough. Kevin Yarbrough Jr. will be playing the recorder for us today. He has a special song in hand. He is eight years old. He is from the Manhattan Temple. His pastors are Elder Linda Austin and co-pastor Elder Joseph Lathan. Grade in the fall, fourth grade. His hobbies are basketball. His future aspirations are the NBA. Next up will be Lalia. But first, let's give it up for Kevin Yarbrough Jr. Let's do it, Kevin. I'm really out. Your speaker is not working. Please check your connection. Kevin? We, Kevin, we can't hear you. There's a, your sound. We see you unmuted, but we don't hear you. Check again. Who's 
with you to make sure your sound is ready. Say hello, 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 Kevin. Let me see if I hear you. Say hello, hello, hello. Hello, hello, hello. hello okay, now, hello. I, now I hear you. Now let's try that again. Okay, Kevin, go again. There we go. Back to our host. I love the whole time roll. That's one of the songs that me and my friend used to sing at school. Let's give him a round of applause. In our next, in our in our next act is Lalita J. Lalita J. Duncan. She is singing. Ha! <laughs> Very popular uh, TV song. Eight years old. She's from the Ypsilanti Temple. Her pastor is Bishop Harvey Harvey Beavers Jr. Grade in the fall will be third grade. She loves playing outside, writing, and drawing. Her future aspirations is to be a police officer. Lalita J, you're next up, and after you will be Simeon Ramsey. Let's give Lalita J a big round of applause. Hi, yeah. my, my name is Little Sister Leah, and I'm from the Sumter Temple. Travel down the road and back again. The heart is true. You're a pal and a comfort us. And if you do a party, invite everyone to you. You will see the things it will be for me. In the card attached will say, thank you for being a friend. Good job, Leah. Good job. To our host, Lyric, you're on. That was a great song. It was so beautiful. Let's give her a round of applause. Loud, loud. Let's give her a round of applause. Next up, Simi and Ramsey. Next up is Simi and Ramsey. Simeon Ramsey is 18 from the Brooklyn Temple, going to be presenting us with some spoken word. Next up will be Ariana Walker. Let's give Simeon Ramsey a big round of applause. Good deal. Well, I rise to give honor to Holy Father, King of all Israel, um, to say a spoken word piece that I wrote on my front Brooklyn Temple. My pastor is Bishop Lenny Goodwin, my grandfather. And um, I hope you guys get something from this. All right. I had a dream that there would be better days. I had a dream that Trayvon would pave the way. I had a dream, but now I have nothing to say. The pain and the agony, it can't be explained. Our rights and our freedom, they never maintain. 
Yet so often they adopt the best we have to give, yet the oppression remains. One man's trash is another man's treasure, they say. A black man's pain is a white man's pleasure, they say. And I'm hurting. I'm hurting for my brother whose walk home is a death sentence. I'm hurting for my brother who was gunned down because his skin brown, no weapon in sight except the exceptional blackness wielded from the day we first saw light. There aren't enough breaths to express the agony of youth. What was once just a lesson in our history books has all become way too real. The dream speech has all become way too relevant. And frankly, I'm sick and tired of being sick and tired. But I dream that there will be better days. I dream that my son will be the one to call 911 and expect to make it home that night. I dream that my daughter will know her worth and while she's on this earth, never let a man of any color do anything but treat her right. I dream that Martin's words ring out in remembrance, not relevance. I dream that one day it'll be behind us for good. That one day black communities will be just that and not the hood. That one day we black brothers and sisters will be understood and they will let the change come like they said they would. I dream that the white man will no longer have the desire to hunt us down. I dream that no more black and brown heads will hit the ground. I dream that Martin's words weren't said in vain. I have a dream that one day this nation will rise up and live out the true meaning of its creed. We hold these truths to be self-evident, that all men are created equal. This is my dream. Amen. 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 Good job. Good job. Good job. Amen. 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 No more black people die. Uh, to to we'll start treating black people like real people. Mm -hmm. Amen, and so it is. Ariana Walker. Ariana Walker is next. Ariana Walker is singing. Her age is 13 years old. She's from the Compton Temple, where Elder Alvin Mears is her pastor. The grade in the fall will be eighth grade. Her hobbies are playing the guitar. Her future aspirations are to be a photographer and makeup artist. Kingdom Beavers, you're on deck. But so let's give a big round of applause for Ariana Walker. I got everything I wanted, but when I wake up, I see you with me. 
Kingdom Beavers is doing a presentation and he'll be singing. He's four years old. He's from the Ypsilanti Temple. His pastor is Bishop Harvey Beaver. Braid in the fall will be pre-K. His hobbies are playing. His future aspirations are to be a fire firefighter. Behind him on deck will be his sister, Arise Beavers. But now let's give a great big round of a Zoom applause for Kingdom Beavers. Hi guys. Forever doing it even. We don't do out me. We don't do out me. For whatever doing it is even. We don't do out me. We don't do out me. Welcome to King with the Sin. All right, King Tom, good job. All right. One second, Kingdom. One second, Kingdom. We're trying to unmute you. I'm having problems. There you go. Now let's go ahead and talk, Kingdom. There you go. Thanks for watching. Thanks for watching. All right. Bye. All right. Your phone is ringing. Yeah. Good job, Kingdom. So that was a great song. And his toys. <laughs> Is a wise and arise. Arise. All right, arise, beavers. She is six years old. You gonna stand up? Say, stand up loud. Say hi and get your crown and stuff. Not yet. Yeah. Arise. I'm gonna be doing magic and singing. She's six years old. She is also from the Ypsilanti Temple. Her pastor is Bishop Harvey Beavers. Grade in the fall will be first grade. Her hobbies is she likes to play with her dogs and science. Her future aspiration is to be a doctor. Let's give a big round of applause for Rise Beavers. And next up on deck is Maya. Yay! 
Today I'm gonna be doing the science magic. So first, I put the milk. Second, I'm gonna put. I'm gonna put the food, the food color. One. Two. Talk loud. Three. Four. Next, uh, I have to. Oh. Just a little bit. Just a little bit. And And I just press it down. Look at the camera. Like okay. Oh, beautiful. Oh, oh, Good job, Rise. Good job, Rise. Awesome. Awesome. Awesome, awesome Rise. Awesome, Rise. <laughs> all these plants disappear. You no. see them? Now you don't. Yeah. <laughs> the last one. You see, there's nothing in here. And I'm going to make something disappear. Magic, magic, make something disappear. Wow! Wow! Good job, Rise! 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 Good job, Before we go to Samaya up next, just a reminder to all that are watching, you can donate. You can donate to our Youth Scholarship Fund. I'm sure the, our, uh, our host will put it on later on after this when we do our intermission, but you can donate using Zelle. So please feel free to uh, give charity to our youth and their scholarship fund. Now we will have for our final act of our first um, our, our final act for our first part will be Samaya. She's 19 years old. She's from Cornelia, Georgia. Her pastor is Bishop Annie Collins. Let's give a great big round of applause to Samaya. Hello, Israel. <laughs> I'm a little nervous, so it's kind of like, whatever. But um, 
I wanted to start off really by um, acknowledging the fact that all the the craziness is going on within our country. Um, and to sing a little a little song for that little bit, um, I wanted to sing the Black National Anthem. So, lift every voice and sing till it in heaven rings. Ring with the harmony of liberty. Let our rejoicing rise high as the listening skies. Let us march on to victory is one. So with that little bit, I had to sing the nerves out. <laughs> Gotta sing the nerves out. But um, yeah, so let's get started. <laughs> There's a voice that cries out in the silence He's searching for heart that will love him And longing for a child that will give him it all Give it all, he wants it all And there's a God that walks over the earth He's searching for heart that is desperate Longing for a child that will give him their own, give it all, he wants it all. And he says, love me, love me with your whole heart, he wants it all today. Serve me, serve me with your life now, he wants it all today. Bow down. Let go of your idols. He wants it all today. He wants it all today. He wants it all today. So give it all. And there's a God that walks over the earth. He's searching for heart that is desperate. And longing for a child that will give them their own. Give it all. He wants it all. And he says, love me, love me with your whole heart. He wants it all today. Serve me, serve me with your life now. He wants it all today. Bow down, let go of your idols. He wants it all today. He wants it all today. He wants it all today. He wants it all. More of you, more of you wants it all today. Hey, 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 hey. Oh, more of you, more of you wants it all today. Hey, hey, hey. Oh, more of you, more of you wants it all today. today. Today, he wants it all today. He wants it all today, so give it all. And there's a God that walks over the earth. He's searching for heart that will love him. Longing for a child that will give him their own. Give it all. He wants it all. <laughs> Beautiful. Oh, yeah. 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 Great job. Great job. Oh, my oh, my God. That was some great singing. I really, really enjoyed it. All right, guys. So, this is our final act of the first, first stage. We will turn it back over to our own daughter, Kayla. 
for our intermission. Let's give it back to Kayla. I hope that you are all having such an amazing time and enjoying our beautiful, beautiful talent show. Now, we will have a brief seven minute intermission and we will call on Elder Delphine so she can discuss and bring us some facts about the scholarship fund. Please, please look at the screen. It also shares ways that you can donate to our beautiful, beautiful scholarship fund. We'll see you in seven minutes. Bye bye. Elder Delphine, you're, you're up. Oh, I'm sorry. I rise going on to the Holy Father, King of all Israel. First of all, did we have a beautiful first half of our program? We should give all our children a cheer. To say I'm going to bring a brief history about uh, the scholarship fund. Originally in 1969, it was called the Israel Educational Committee. It was formed. The first founding members were Archbishop Martin Tunkin, Elder Jordan C. Wiley, Sister Ida May Wiley, Bishop Brad Mother Rose Alice, Mother Ophelia B. Johnson. Mother Mary Harmon, Mother Joy Stevens, and Mother Delaphine Mills. We have formed originally to give uh, donations to our graduating um, high school student. The first recipients for our from our committee was given $500, and that was Sister Patricia Walden. She is the daughter of um, Reverend James Walton of Temple Number no. One. Over the years, we have given over $86,000 to our scholarship. We have given it to over 70 high school graduates, and we have given it to 30 college graduate students, which we now call that award, uh, Adult Encouragement Award. Originally, when it was started, we only gave two awards, one to one boy and one to a girl. But over the years, we have expanded to give more awards. When Bishop Robert Hayward became king, we developed the Three Kings Award, and we gave three high honors award. The mark of excellence was for the higher grade point average and also for, um, yeah, the highest grade point average and the person that was accepted to more colleges. Uh, and the process was developed for the scholarship committee by uh, Reverend Asta Callaway. We uh, adopted an application scholarship uh, process that was developed by Esther, uh, Reverend Esther, and that's how we chose who was um, going to be given the scholarship. We normally would have our program on the second Sunday during the General Assembly, uh, but now it's been moved to that Wednesday, the first week in the General Assembly. We, I want to say that the present committee members for the scholarship committee D now is Elder Ethelene Newman is our president, myself, Elder Bride Mother Delaphine Mills is the secretary and bookkeeper. We have Bride Mother. I'm sorry, Reverend Bride Mother Kimry Brown, Reverend Mother Barbara Freeman, Reverend Mother Kim Rankins, and Bride Mother Octavia Davis. And we all want to, I want to say to you, thank you from the scholarship committee. Thank you for all the children, all the adults, and everyone that put this program on. And please know and realize that our commitment is, is not just to get scholarship, but to be mentors for the people in the church. And if anyone would like to contact uh, the scholarship committee, you can contact myself or Ellen Newman, and we will be glad to have you join our committee and work for our children because they are no longer the church of tomorrow. They are the church of today. And I thank you, thank you, thank you.
Stay tuned, everybody. We will be starting in a few minutes. The second half of the show. You don't want to miss it. Okay, Miss Caleb, start bringing everybody back in. I rise to give honor to the Holy Father and the King of all Israel to say welcome back to our second segment of our youth talent show. I hope you guys are having an amazing time. Now, I will bring back our beautiful, beautiful host, Lyric Monet Page and her father, Elder Kenneth Page. Please receive them. Honesty Fisher. First one up is Honesty Fisher. 
Honesty Fisher is going to be our next act. And we're asking that Sanaya Jones Blue from Seattle get ready. Honesty Fisher, seven years old. She belongs to the South Bend Temple. The bottom of the mini Taylor is her passion. Taylor the Paul will be second grade. She uh, likes to do gym, gymnastics, sing, dance, and draw. Her future aspirations are for her to be a doctor. Let's give it up for Honesty Fisher. Um, honesty, hang on. Honesty, one second. Before you speak, um, in, you have two devices in your space. You have to mute the other device, mom, so we don't get the feedback. So we need you to mute one device. All right, there we go. Now we're ready for performance. Let's give it up for honesty. All right. I rise to give honor to the Holy Father, the King of all Israel. I am seven years old and I go to the Spiritual Israel Church in this army. South Bend, Indiana. South Bend, Indiana. And my pastor. My pastor is Bishop Brian Mother Minnie Taylor. Sometimes it feels cold and you feel alone. But hold on, cause better days are coming. Yeah. It's been rough in this world. I know it ain't easy, but hang on in there. Cause I know better days, better days are coming. Better days, better days, better days. Sanaya Jones Blue will be dancing, 14 years old, from the Seattle Temple. Her pastor is Elder Candino Blue. Next up after that will be Vangeline. You're on deck. So let's give it up for Sanaya. One second. Challenge, are you 
gotta do is leave it better than you found it. It's gonna get you through December or two valleys. I just say whatever, cause there is no way you can. And everyone falls down sometimes. But you just gotta know it's gonna be fine. It's okay. It's okay. Take a bow. Thank you. Good job. Good job. You're on. Benaya, can you teach me some of those moves, please? Round of applause. Let's give her a round of applause. Let's give her a round of applause. Yeah. Benjali is the next. And Benjali is next. You gotta say it louder. Benjali. Benjali is 12 years old. Comes from the Manhattan Temple. Elder Linda Austin and Elder Joseph Lathan are our co pastors. Grade in the fall will be seventh. Hobbies, soccer, singing, and making friends. Future aspirations are to be a singer. Reese, you're up next on deck. Everyone, let's give a Zoom welcome to Vangeli. Hi, my name is Vangeli, and I am from the Manhattan Temple. My pastors are Elder Linda Austin and Elder Joseph Nathan. I will be singing. <laughs> Broken down and tired of living life on a merry-go-round. And you can't find a fighter, but I see in you, so we're going to walk it out and move mountains and I rise up. I rise like the day and I rise up. I rise unafraid and I rise up. And I do it a thousand times again for you. For you. For you. For you. When the silence isn't quiet And it's feel like it's getting hard to breathe And I know you feel like dying But I promise we'll take the world to his feet And move mountains And I rise up I rise I rise like the day, and I rise up. I rise unafraid, and I rise up. 
And I do it a thousand times again for you, for you, for you, for you. Now back to our host. All eyes, all eyes, all eyes. Such a fitting song for the times. Next up, Ronnie Gray. He goes by Reese. He's 17 years old. He's going to be playing guitar for us. He's from the Sumter Temple. His pastor is Elder Joseph Jordan. Grade in the fall will be 12th grade. His hobbies are the guitar and video games. Future aspirations is to be in construction, business, or building homes. Tim, and Santana and Tim, you're going to be on next, guys. But first, let's give a big round of applause to Reese, Junior Deacon Ronnie Gray. All right, uh, we having problems hearing you. We're not getting sound. All right, we're gonna stop. Can you stop real quick? I need you to speak. I need you to speak. Say say something to me. Say check one, check two. All right, he's not hearing us. Oh, check one, check me. two. It's me, Elder. This performance was pre-recorded and I was on mute. So we're gonna start it over. Thank you. All right. And this is uh, Little Wing by Jimi Hendrix. Yes, no more. Now back to our host, Lyric Monet. That that was some great guitar playing. Give him a round of applause. Next up, Timothy and Santana. They will be singing and doing an original piece. Both age 11, they attend Temple Number no. 2 in Detroit, Michigan. Their pastor is Bishop William Oliver. On deck will be Lala Austin. But first, let's give a big round of applause to Timothy and Santana. Yo, 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 yo. Hello, we are Tim and Tana. We are from Temple Number no. 2. Our pastor is Bishop William Oliver. We are going to be singing an original piece that we made. We gotta be united in this situation. Cause missing things we want to see can cause frustration. 
it's intolerable to freak out when it's just begun. So in this quarantine, just sit back and try to have some fun. You gotta power through it no matter how much you hurt so we can lift up positivity and break the curse. It ain't easy to flip back all the fear and hate in this predicament. Get a good mental position, it can act as a ridiculous. We gotta stick together and we'll be alright forever. There's nothing that can stop us, cause our happiness is a must. We got no problems, never, cause we're always just too clever. We don't worry about this, cause our happiness is a must. We know it ain't easy, it just ain't. But if you power through it, you can surely make a change. If you try your hardest, you get benefits. If you act modest, you lose your profits. There's always just something that push you feel back. But if you're careful how you act, you can avoid that attack. It ain't easy, never. But if you stick together, you might be able to avoid that forever. If you want peace, you gotta work for it. What about the hate? Just export it. If you deal with the bully, report it. Keep the peace, don't retort it. We gotta stick together and we'll be all right forever. There's nothing that can stop us, cause our happiness is a must. We got no problems, never, cause we're always just too clever. We don't worry about prison and cuts, cause our happiness is a must. There's nobody out here that can break our bond. We're gonna stay together and we're gonna stay strong. And we'll always stay close, we'll right every wrong. And we know it cause we're pros at it, but it might take long. If you have to take risks, just do it, you feel me? As long as I believe, it's not gonna kill me cause I know with my heart, God's gonna protect us. And I've seen it myself, the effect is just wondrous. Just like he loved us, we have to love others too. Even if we feel like we aren't in the mood. And, th and another thing I know we must do is to talk to people nicely, just don't be rude. And if other people decide to show disrespect to you, do not show back because I know the truth. Way to talk to people when talking back is to talk to them nicely. Cut them some slack. Now isn't that a nice little hack? We gotta stick together and we'll be alright forever. There's nothing that can stop us cause our happiness is a must. We got no problems never cause we're always just too clever. We don't worry about prison cuts cause our happiness is a must. Okay, looks like we've reached the end. This song's already taken a new bed. So stick together no matter what. Cause we should know our happiness is a must. See it, Santana? You know it's true. Knowing this keeps you from feeling blue. Doing this, push negativity away. Doing this can also make your day. We gotta stick together, and we'll be alright forever. There's nothing that can stop us, cause our happiness is a must. We got no problems, never, cause we're always just too clever. We don't worry about prison and cuts, cause our happiness is a must. Wow, that was good. <laughs> <laughs> I'm doing this. Wow, that was some great singing, twins. That sounds catchy. Am I seeing double? Great job. Lala Austin, you're up. She is 15 years old from the Manhattan Temple. Will be playing piano for us today. And next up, and next up on deck for our final act will be Renaya Thomas. So let's give a big round of applause for Lala Austin. Yeah, 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 yeah. Um, I rise to give honor to the Holy Father, King of all Israel. I from the Manhattan All right, um, there you go. I think our sound is just getting better. I want to make sure we hear you clear. I want you to say test, 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 one, two, three. Say it two times for me. Test, 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 one, two, three. Test, 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 one, two, three. Good. Now I want you to play me a few bars on the key on the keys real quick. Okay. Now we're ready. Let's do it, girl. Got you. All right. <laughs>
Come on back, Lyric. Kenneth, unmute her. Good. That was some great piano playing. All right, next up, we want Lyric One to get on her piano and just imitate what she was doing. She got so inspired by that. So thank you so much for your beautiful piano playing. <laughs> she ain't learned it yet, but she'll be there soon. Great job, awesome job. Uh, next up for our final act, but you will not be disappointed. And let's just, before we get to our final act, remind everyone that you can donate now on Zelle. After our final act, I'm sure our host will put uh, the information back up where you can donate. So you'll have the ability to do so. Please, it is for our Spiritual Israel Church and Army Youth Scholarship Fund that has been around for many, many, many years, if you heard it in the beginning of our broadcast. So please don't hesitate to donate. And last up for our day, for our show, will be our own Renaya Thomas, 13 years old from the Saginaw Temple, Let's give her a big Zoom applause. Woohoo! Oh. Renaya, are you there? Let me hear you say test, test, one, two, three. Let me hear you say test, test, one, two, three. Test, test, one, two, three. All right, now we are ready. Let's do it, girl. All right. I ask the goddess of the Holy Father and the King of all the Israel to say, I'm about to sing a song called Us Hope You Enjoy. Me. Listen to the song here in my heart, the melody I start, look at and hear. Listen. Mm -hmm. To the sound from deep within, it's only beginning to find release. All the time has come from my dreams to be heard. They will not be pushed aside, turn into your own, or cause you won't listen.
Yes, Naya, beautiful. All right, beautiful. You're amazing. Yes. Good job. Good job. Yes, Naya. Wow, those were so powerful vocals. 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 If you're not feeling the spirit, something's wrong. Want to say goodbye to him today? Or, uh, it was an honor. Bye. Bye. It was a, it was an honor to be your host. I enjoyed all of your beautiful acts. Bye. And I'm Bye. Gonna my brother up. All right, everyone. Thank you all for being a part of this. Come back over here. Um, to our yeah. host, Miss Lyric, give a bow. Bye bye. bye. Beautiful. Oh, you did a great job. Oh, oh, you did a great job. 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 Thank you all. Just remember, please donate. Please donate. Please donate. Uh, we'll turn it back over to our initial host, um, Miss Kayla. Good job, Larry. I rise to give honor to the Holy Father and the King of Israel to say that I am so proud of the youth from Israel all over. You all are winners. Lyric, you did such an amazing job. I'm just so proud to have witnessed this and been a part of such an amazing production. I will also like to say with the God of Israel by your side, we can do all and the youth are the future. Please allow me to introduce Elder Noonan, who is the current president of the Supreme Scholarship Committee. Please receive her. Amazing job, KK. Amazing. Yes, Kay, you did a great job from your past and grandmother. I rise to give honor to the Holy Father, the King of all Israel. I want to thank each and every one of the young people that participated in this program today. And I want to tell you that I was really, truly inspired by the acts that were performed. And I want to thank our own Reverend Derek for really asking that he could do this program for the scholarship fund. And we would like to let you know that if you are interested in applying for the scholarship, you can send your name and address to me and I will send you an application. There's still time to get that application in. And I also like to thank all the ones that have worked behind the scenes to make this program what it has been today. This is a new groundbreaking uh, area for us. And I know that we will go higher in doing these types of programs. And I don't know if Bishop Harvey Beaver is on today. And if he, if he is, I would like to turn the program over to him. If not, I'm gonna turn it back to on Reverend Derek. Oh, and one last thing, uh, the donation that were made, this was before the program was $700. That's even before the program has started. Now, I'll be able to give you a uh, total, I, I would say, as, as, I'm get, as I get the information from my own sister, Deborah, she, she's going to give me the information, then I'll pass it on to you. And again, I want to say thank you, each and every one of you, and I'm going to turn it back to our own uh, sister, Kayla, or Reverend Derek. Thank you. I rise to give honor to the Holy Father and the King of all Israel to call on Junior Deacon Jordan Calhoun to do the closing. Um, before we do that, um, sorry, I just have to do, do some special recognitions to the people that really made this behind, but it, it has been inspired by our own Reverend Derek. I got to yes, give him, yes, let yes. me 
everybody's mic. Just yeah. one moment. Yes, great. Yay! Thank you, Reverend. Thank you, Great job. Beautiful job. Thank you, Reverend. 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 I love you, Reverend Derek. Beautiful job. Love you. Happy belated birthday. That day I got to see was beautiful. Mm -hmm. Now we're going to go back. We just had to do that real quick. I want to go back to the program now, to our closing. Um, now, okay. I'm going to call on Junior Deacon Jordan Calhoun to do the closing. All right, this is Devon to notify the King of all Israel. My name is Junior Deacon Jordan. My pastor, Elder Joseph Jordan. My sister pastor is Elder God, Elder God Thoreau Johnson, Reverend James Singleton. To say the closing. Now I made a peace and the love and the great God of Israel and the love of his son, Jesus Christ, and the love of oh, 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 please stop. And communion of the Holy Ghost, and all being go over soul from this meeting. May the God of Israel, wait, oh, please, I think I skipped the line. Uh, sorry, I'm gonna start over. Great, great idea, go ahead and start over, take your time. And I want you to go ahead and remember, this is the closing, and I need you to put some spirit in that, okay? So take your time, do it right, and close us out right. This is a beautiful opportunity to make sure we all go home blessed. All right, let's do it, Jordan. Now may the peace and the love of the great God of Israel and the love of his son, Jesus Christ, and the community of the Holy Ghost all be in go over us all from this meeting. May the God of Israel keep wells better floating over us. It's my death starting way before us, and great too, that we may so love him and will love and cleave one to another. And this we do know, that if we will, with all our hearts, soul, minds, and strength, love thee, O God of Israel, we shall receive and possess the kingdom of David in this world. And that will send us and send unto us all the kings of God in heaven. And if we truly love thee, thou bless us to be the true Israel of God. And then we shall enter into the everlasting kingdom, which has no end. This and all of the blessing that we see if to we need. We ask the name of the Father, the Son, and the Holy Ghost. Amen. 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 Now we're gonna unmute everyone, and we got now the opportunity to count the day. Thank you. Beautiful job. Wonderful. Beautiful job. Beautiful job. Everybody. Amen. Peace and love. 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 Peace Hi, Grandma. <laughs> hey. Peace and love. Hi, Mama. Hey, Becky. Hey. It's so hard to go down. Everybody. You can still though. donate by going to the local Hey, baby. Beautiful, beautiful, beautiful. Hey, beautiful. and the Moses. Hey, Mama. Hey, Mama. Hey, Mama. Oh, this is so nice. Amen. Oh, nice. Amen. 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 Right. Hey, everybody. Hey, everybody. This was awesome. Good job. Yeah. Yeah, look at that twin power. Twin power. Twin power. Twin power. <laughs> <laughs> Beautiful. Right. Awesome.
Those oh, glory. glory. Beautiful. They did great. Amen. Peace and love. Peace and love.